Hi everyone. Now that we've built up the supply curve and demand curve for loanable funds, I want to talk about equilibrium. So, if you think back to it, the each of those curves had quantity of loanable funds on the horizontal axis, so I'll just put quantity down here, and each one of them had the real interest rate on the vertical axis, real, real interest rate. And that's getting kind of ugly, so I'll just call it real interest and stop. So that means I can put the supply curve on the, in the demand curve on exactly the same graph. Now notice the supply curve slopes upwards, the demand curve slopes downwards. They intersect at this point. In economics, when two curves intersect, it probably means something important. And here it's going to mean the equilibrium interest rate, which I'm going to label as R star and Q star. Now, for the equilibrium real interest rate and equilibrium quantity of loanable funds. Now, what makes equilibrium interesting, what makes interesting equilibrium important, is not that the curves intersect, okay? And technically, it's not that supply equals demand, because technically it's quantity demand equal quantity supply. So, just to emphasize that, I know this is something you learned in micro, but it's very important. If this is the price, R star, and I wanted to find quantity demand, I would go from R star all the way over to my demand curve, which happens to be at point A, and down, and I would get quantity demanded. Okay. If I wanted to find quantity supplied, I'd go from R star all the way over the supply curve, which also happens to be at point A and down, and I would get quantity supplied. And what's special about equilibrium is not that the supply and demand curves intersect, it's that quantity demanded equals quantity supplied. That's what's important about equilibrium. And the reason why it's important is because what it means is at the equilibrium interest rate, everyone who wants to borrow the quantity demand of loanable funds, um, all those people who want to borrow can find someone who wants to lend to them. Right? So that's what it means for quantity demand equal quantity supply. Everybody who wants to borrow can find someone to lend to them. However, since quantity supplied is equal to quantity demand, that means everybody who has excess funds to lend, all those banks that have funds to lend, can find a borrower who wants to borrow from them. So in equilibrium, neither the supply side nor, nor the demand side of the market has an incentive to alter the price. Okay. So that's what we mean by equilibrium in this model. Quantity demand equals quantity supplied, so no banks have an incentive to change the real interest rate to try to attract uh, new borrowers, and no borrowers have an incentive to bid up the real interest rate to try to attract um, uh, loanable funds or to try to convince banks to loan to them rather than someone else. All right, in the next video, um, I'm going to talk about why this equilibrium is stable. In other words, why, if you're not at this equilibrium, you will soon return towards it.